Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these very quick and easy crackers. Now as you can see I have made a ton. These are all in this nice little basket and the we, we kind of use crackers I'd say like over the course of three days. So Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day and we will pull crackers. So it's not just for the Christmas Day kind of lunch. So these ones are the ones that will sit downstairs just by the Christmas tree and these will be used for our Christmas Eve kind of buffet and then possibly Christmas Day. I'm, we're at my sister's and I don't know her colour scheme or if she's already sorted all that I need to ask her and I will probably make different ones for that. They will certainly be for Christmas Day evening and then on Boxing Day we have what we call Boxing Day cold and that's when my dad does a huge spread of all the cold meats and all other lots of goodness <laughs> so yeah so these are the crackers no dye is needed very minimal tools you can even make it without a scoreboard so I'm going to show you how to do one of them and all of these supplies and everything I use will be shared over on my blog and I will also link up here last year's cracker because last year's cracker was I think it was a six-sided octagon shape <laughs> and that was using the envelope punch board but I if I recall rightly, I did show you how you could use it without the envelope punch board. So again, you know, lots of ways. So I have used the Jolly Holidays paper pack. I swear this is the paper pack that just keeps giving because it never seems to be going down. And I have used it so much. But you do get 48 sheets. So like I said, they are great. You know, this has pretty much covered all my Christmas. But look, I've still got loads, tons and tons. So I may well be making more crackers with that one. But all you need is you get two crackers out of one piece of 12 by 12. So grab your 12 by 12 cardstock and just cut it in half. So you've got two pieces of six by 12, okay? Then with your scoreboard, now if you don't have a scoreboard, just imagine this is your ruler and you're gonna use this as your ruler, um, as your guide, sorry. And you will wanna put, if you're not using a scoreboard, you wanna put a little pencil mark at three, three and a half and four and then at eight, eight and a half and nine. Do those same paper mark, um, same markings with your pencil along the bottom here, then join up the pencil marks or just score directly, but you wanna create three score lines. So I've got my scoreboard, I'm gonna score at three, three and a half and four, and then eight, eight and a half and nine. And then rotate it and you wanna score at five and three quarters, all the way down and that will be our tab to put our crackers together. So that's everything there with the scoreboard. So I'll remove that. So I had all my papers cut ready to go and then I went through and scored them all, then I went through and cut them all and so on and just kind of had a bit of a conveyor system going and it works so much better. You are going to need some cracker snaps. So these I picked up last year. I had a few packs very very inexpensive I want to say they were a pound you get 12 in a pack I think we ended up putting all of them into one pack so there's a lot more than 12 here and um, yeah so you just put these inside your cracker now you can put them in the cracker before you make it or after I prefer putting them in after so for example this one here doesn't have one in and all you will do Obviously I need to put a gift in this yet and they're just going to have little, little sweet treats. I will share the links to where I get my hats from and also all the funny jokes. Although I have also wrote my own jokes before and if you just go online and put in, you know, you can put in um, children's jokes, you can put in adult jokes, all kinds of things. So, you know, really specific to maybe a hobby for that person. There's, there's lots. So do have a look online, just Google it because there's some great ideas. But you just pop the cracker in and you just want to, with a little bit of sticky, you know, sellotape, and I'll, I'll do this in a minute, but you just want to then sellotape it on that end and that end. And that way when it gets pulled, it will obviously snap, but also it, you know, won't kind of uh, stop whoever's, you know, well, it just will work. I don't know what even what I'm trying to say there, but it will work, it will pop, and then whoever gets the most of the cracker gets the prize. So yeah, these are from Hobbycraft, but again, I will share links to as many places as I think are best value. So we've got all of our score lines. Now what we want to do is along the long, so have the long side facing you, you want to fold your first score line down, the second score line up, and then the next score line down. So we've created that M. Okay, and do that again on this one here. So you're folding the first score line down, 
the next score line up and the last one down. So you will have two of those kind of shapes. It looks like M's, although they just look too, like two V's now actually. But that's what you want. Now this one here, you don't actually need to burnish because it's only a guide for where you want to add your glue and stick. So I don't burnish them because it then helps keep a nice circular shape to your cracker. Now the next bit is all done by freehand and it is so, so easy. So I'm gonna flip it over so that I've got that quarter inch tab on my left hand side. And then basically you're gonna be cutting, so you can see where I folded over and I've got this half inch piece here and here, you can just see my score line, okay? You're gonna be cutting within that, so I'm gonna bring it up nice and close here. And you're just gonna cut a little V shapes, but you don't, you always wanna leave a little bit of a join here. Now the thinner the join, the better, because then that means the crackers will easily be able, you know, people can pull them. Um, you don't wanna go too thick, so for example, I wouldn't go out that thick. I'll try and keep my skin there so you can see it. I wouldn't come out that thick. I'm gonna go up on an angle like that. In fact, even that's probably still too thick. Can you see there? So then I'm going to go across, go quite wide with this next triangle. You just want to, that bit there, you want to come out completely. So now we've got that. I'm just going to bring in, just got a darker piece of cardstock here because I think it's much, much easier for you to see. So you can see there that little gap. I think we can go even kind of closer. So I'm going to go like so, and then again, like that. And can you see there? Because then when we open it up, we are creating that cracker effect. So you're, you're making these little diamonds and the thinner that they have attaching there, the better. So it means the crackers will pull. Obviously you want them to be, a, you want there to be a bit of force, but if you imagine you've got that all the way around. So I'm just gonna carry on. Okay, so you can see I've gone along there. They're not perfect. They're all a bit out of shape, but that's all gonna be covered up with ribbon. You won't see any of it. Then when you get to the very end part here, just ignore that there's a score line or anything, just keep going because what we will end up doing is cutting out, so I'll do that one there. And actually, when we open it up, where the score line is, you can actually remove that whole piece, like so. Okay, so just kind of cut your triangle, I'd say, you can see I've got it right up to that corner where the score line is there. That's what you kind of want to aim for. Then fold down the other side. Again, flip it over. So now I've got the tab again on my left hand side and just do it again. So start off snipping off the end like so and then just go along. Once you've done a lot, you'll become very quick at this. There are dies out there. By all means, obviously use those, but really you don't need it. For the very few times a year that I use it, um, I like doing it. I find this quite quite fun. It's quite satisfying knowing that when they're pulling the crackers as well that you've obviously you know made all of that. So I'm just going to finish this one off. And again, just go to the end there, and then you can open it up and just remove that one completely. That one I didn't cut out completely. There we go. And that one there either. And if I just bring up that cardstock so you can see that's what you want. Now when I open them both up, all these little pieces, that is what you want. Again, I think I need cardstock on this, it's too close to my matte colour. You can see there, that's how it will look. Okay, next we want to stick it together. So you can use double sided tape or you can use your wet glue. Now I've run out of my very thin tape and this is literally the last one. I could have sworn I had it somewhere but so actually, oh no, there we go, hang on. <laughs> Let's use this one. It's a little bit thicker but that's fine, I can fold it over. So you just want to go along and just run it along the score line and just snip it off as you go along. You may want to cut those bits off here after you put tape on. So then you can just go along with one long piece of tape and cut it out, but either way, it's well, you're wasting tape that way, so it's just a bit easier this way. So yeah, if you've got a quarter inch tape, obviously you won't get that overhang like I've got, but if you do have bigger like I have, if you just take it off and then just fold it back on itself, like so. Just 
do that on the other ones. And then when you've got your tape, you want to bring this round and very carefully, start to obviously bend it and just start from the top and stick that one down. Once you've done the top one, the rest all just easily. And you're just lining it up with all the score lines. So I'm lining up that one there with, she says, I'm getting it stuck on my hand. Again, once you've done a lot of them, it does become very, very easy. But again, just pinch that like so. And you can put a ruler in there in a minute just to go in and really make sure it's all stuck down. And again, that one like that. I'm just going to grab this ruler and just go in and really push it down. And then you can get inside there, push down on the join. And again, on that one. There you have it. Easy peasy. So now I've got some ribbon. And first of all, do this end. Pull it nice and tight. Obviously, you don't want anything falling out. Rough bows, you don't have to worry too much. And then just trim off the ends there. Then you can fill up inside. Put your treats in there and everything else. Pop my snap in there, even though you can do it at the end. There's enough, there is a hole there still enough. In fact, I'll go in that way, it's a bit easier. And then grab some tape and bring it up as close to the edge end as you can get it and just pop some tape on it there so you can see I've just stuck it in place a bit of fluff from my jumper and then obviously like I said put in your treats and then when you don't cut the snap yet do your cracker and push it in because you can see then it comes out further because we've obviously tightened the cracker so wait till you've put your cracker into its shape because you don't want to cut it too short and then find you can't actually get it and it's got lost inside the cracker so again just tidy that all up like so, and then I'm just going to cut like so, so I can still see it there, and again with a tiny bit of tape, I always put it towards the join, and that way it obviously just all looks nice, and then just pop in a little bit of cell tape, again it doesn't matter how this looks, it's, you know, it's literally <laughs> going to be, you know, trashed within minutes, but what you can do, and what I've done on the other one, like I said, I'd link in, is you can decorate here and you can personalise it. You can have per people's initials, their names on them. Um, it's entirely up to you, but because these are kind of our everyday cracker as such over Christmas, I'm keeping them just plain. And plus, I love the paper. The paper's just so gorgeous. And um, yeah, that is how you make a really easy cracker. So, I mean, if you only need four or five, for a table or something then I mean you'll make them up in no time and you don't actually use up a lot of paper either but there you have it so now I can bring in my basket add those two oh I need to put that snap in but add those two to the front there I'm going to put a nice bow on the front of the basket as well or maybe on the side there and that's going to look really nice downstairs with all of the Christmas decorations so there you have it amazing surprising what you can get done um, i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye